this, uh, this guy D, young Italian dude played by yep. David Gallia here who um, <laughs> he's uh, He's like a kind of street punk who's trying to find his way in London. You know, he's a sort of kind of like <clears throat> a stereotypical young Italian, quite full of bravado, bit of a <laughs> really. But, um, and he's, but he's kind of, he's, I guess he's like a, bit, like a fish out of water. He's trying to find his way in Soho and he, he's kind of, you know, he loves the, uh, the what Soho can offer him. So he, he wants to start seducing lots of women. So at the beginning of the film, he gets kicked out by his, his girlfriend because mm-hmm. um, she finds out he's been with some with some other women and... He then hooks up in Soho with uh, a French sommelier friend of his, this guy Luke, who uh, is a kind of serial seducer of women. So he starts hanging out with him, trying to find out how he's managing to seduce so many women. Luke's like an insider in Soho, so he understands the the way the place works, whereas this Italian dude kind of doesn't. He's more of an outsider. Thing and John said, just just do something. Just just um, let me see. He explained to me the, the the character, the role, how how it should have been, how I should have done the character. So I just turned up with my book. Okay, it was a very yeah, small good. budget, yeah. and um, you know we 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 shot over a period of five weeks yeah. in quite a lot of locations, you yeah. know, and that's logistically on a low budget, that's pretty intense. I mean, I, I remember, uh, I was reading a book by um, uh, Christopher Doyle, who's, you know, a big influence on me, and mm-hmm. Gavin, the cinematographer, and he, uh, he wrote uh, this book about his experiences making um, uh, Happy Together in Argentina, and he was, you know, his big um, uh, advice to, to filmmakers is, is, is always to try and make a film at the end of your street, because <laughs> it, it kind of makes things easy. They're an open door, you know, they, 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 Elliot Grove has set up something that I think inspires, you know, if you're making a low budget film, the fact that Raindance is there means that there's a door that, that someone's holding open for you.